As you know, uh, we had uh, consultations at uh, the Security Council this uh, early afternoon, and uh, we have uh, uh, convened uh, some uh, press elements that I will uh, read to you. The members of the Security Council heard a briefing by Mr. Jeffrey Feldman, Under Secretary General for Political Affairs, on the situation of the Gambia. The members of the Security Council reiterated the full contents of their 10th December press statement. They renewed their request to outgoing President Jame to respect the choice of the sovereign people of the Gambia and to transfer without condition and undue delay power to the president-elect, Mr. Adama Parro. They fully supported the initiatives of the economic community of West African states and the efforts of the special representative of the Secretary General, Mr. Mohamed Chambas, aimed at ensuring a peaceful and orderly transition process and urged President Jame to meet and cooperate with the UN, AU, ECOWAS high-level delegation that will visit Banjul on December the 13th, that means tomorrow. The members of the Security Council reiterated their call to all parties to exercise maximum restraint and refrain from violence. They further expressed their commitment to continue to follow closely the evolution of the situation in the Gambia in the framework of the conflict prevention role of the Security Council. That's the press Is the possible use of force if necessary? One of, one of the colleagues who came, uh, one of the ambassadors who came out said, if there is a change of regime, we must act. Il faut agir. So I wanted to know, what was the, the discussion? If, in fact, Yahya Jemei does not step down, what are the options? Was this discussed at all? No, the Security Council didn't discuss about any measures, including the use of force. No, not at all. In, uh, this, in this moment, I think that our, our maximum priority is to support the high-level visit that is going to take place tomorrow in Banjul, and that they are going to transmit a direct message personally to the uh, outgoing president. Has Jemay agreed to accept the visit from the AU? I don't, uh, I don't have any news about that. I don't have any news about that, but my latest news from the, uh, our embassy in Bajul was that uh, there were talks on, 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 on that issue, and that most probably he will, he will receive them. I mean, we are talking about uh, president of Nigeria, president of Sierra Leone, uh, former president of Ghana. I mean, uh, it, this is a really high-level delegation from the region. Uh, there is no reason why the president uh, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't uh, receive them and talk to them. Where is the president now, Jamey? I, I don't know. Thank you.